Hello everyone, welcome to the online lab session of FASPUC Electronics. In the last session, that is in the last experiment, we uh, saw how to realize an OR gate using discrete component. Discrete components are nothing but the diodes. So in today's experiment, we will be realizing an AND gate and verify the truth table. So this is the circuit what we are going to use in order to realize an AND gate. Even here, we are going to use two diodes and those diodes are named as DA and DB. These are the two inputs and this is connected to a voltage source uh, of 5 volts. This is the logic diagram of an AND gate, logic symbol of an AND gate. If A and B are the two inputs, then the output will be equal to A dot B. So here we are going to use two resistors each having a value of 1 kilo ohm and across this resistor we are going to extract the output voltage. Here uh, in the observation we are going to see three different columns uh, out logic output, LED response as well as the voltage output. When A and B are the two inputs, we are uh, will be having four different combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And the logical output for this AND gate is the output will be equal to 1 when both A and B is equal to 1. So this is the combination where both A and B is equal to 1. So this is uh, similar to the multiplication. 0, 0 is nothing but 0. 0 into 1, 0. 1 into 0 is 0. 1 into 1 is equal to 1. So this is the logical output of our AND gate. So uh, we have to check with the LED response and, and the voltage response of this AND gate. In the last experiment itself, I have told you that for uh, the logical values 0 and 1, the voltage values will be equal to 0 volts and 5 volts. When we are going to talk about switches, the switch will be in the off state when the logical value is equal to 0 and when the logical value is 1, then the switch will be in the on state. So this is the truth table of an uh, AND gate. We have to confirm the LED response and the voltage response of this experiment. So let's begin with the circuit connection of this experiment where we are having a ready board uh, and for that we will be connecting a voltage source of plus 12 volts. This is uh, sorry plus 5 volts. This is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. And for the output, we are having two responses. One is the LED response and we will also be connecting a voltmeter across this resistor in order to find out the voltage. So let's begin with the circuit diagram or the circuit connection of this experiment. For this experiment, we are having a ready board. With the same board, we can also do a realize a OR gate and AND gate. In the last experiment, we had realized the OR gate using the same board and today we will be realizing a AND gate. Here I am having two diodes. Diodes are having two terminals. One is called as the anode, the other one is called as the cathode. In the last experiment itself, I have told you that the terminal which is coated with the silver uh, uh, painting it is uh, called as the cathode terminal so these two are the cathode terminals and these are the anode terminals of the two diodes this is da and this is db for this experiment i'll be using two resistors each are having a value of 1 kilo ohm and here i'm having two resistors each are having a value of 1 kilo ohm let me consider this as the load resistor across which will be connecting a voltmeter and this is the other resistor which will be connected to a voltage source of 5 volts. Here I am having a dual uh, uh, input power supply. Uh, here I am having my minus 12 volts, plus 12 volts, common as well as plus 5 volts. I will just be using plus 5 volts and the common terminal. And this is a DC voltmeter which is having a range of 0 to 20 volts. Red is positive terminal of the voltmeter and the black is negative terminal of the voltmeter. So with these apparatus, let us begin with the circuit connections. According to the circuit diagram, the anode terminals of the diodes DA and DB are shorted. So these are the anode terminals of the diode. So I am taking a single wire and I am just connecting uh, the same wire on uh, both the terminals. This is called as shorting. From the shorted end of these anode terminals, a resistor is connected whose value is equal to 1 kilo ohm. So let me connect a wire to the shorted end and 
connect the other end of the wire to one of the end of the resistor. So these are the two ends of a resistor. So I am connecting a wire to the shorted end of the anode terminals and uh, connecting the same point to one end of the resistor. The other end of the resistor will be connected to positive terminal of the battery. So this is the other end of the resistor. This other end of the resistor will be connected to positive end of the battery in the sense plus 5 volts of the power supply. So this is plus 5 volts of the power supply. And uh, the same shorted end is also connected to 1 kilo ohm resistor which will be considered as the load resistor. So let me connect another wire to the same point. So for this shorted end I am uh, connecting another wire and the other end of the wire will be connected to one point or one terminal of the other resistor RL. So this itself is RL which is having two terminals. So one end is connected to the shorted end. And the other end of the RL will be connected to the common point of the power supply or the negative terminal of the power supply. So this is the common point where I am connecting. And I told you we have to connect the voltmeter across the load resistor. So these are the two ends of the load resistor. So let me connect the voltmeter to these two ends. So this will be connected to plus positive terminal of the voltmeter and the terminal which is connected to common point that will be connected to negative terminal of the voltmeter and to give the different combinations of the input I will be connecting two wires for the cathode terminals of the diode. So these are the two wires what I will be using uh, to check the output for different combinations of input. So let us switch on the power supply now. So for the very first combination both the values A and B. So these are the two wires which I am using to check the different combinations of input. Uh, both A and B values are equal to 0 in the sense I will just be shorting these two wires and that will be connected to common point of the power supply. So that will be shorted to the common point of the power supply. So this is the LED response what you have to see. Right now the LED response of this uh, board is equal to 0. I mean the LED is not glowing. So the LED response is in the off condition. So for the very first combination when both A and B values are equal to 0, LED response is off whereas the voltmeter is showing me a value of 0 0.24 or 0 0.26. So that is the very first combination. For the second combination, A value is equal to 0. I will be connecting A to the common terminal and B value is equal to 1 in the sense that I will be connecting to plus 5 volts. So even now the LED is not glowing according to the logical output uh, for the input combination of 0 and 1 the output will be equal to 0 so the LED response is in the off state and the voltmeter is equal to 0 0.29 or 0 0.30 which is almost can be considered as 0 itself. And for the third combination when A value is equal to 1 I will be connecting A to plus 5 volts and B to 0 volts. Even now the LED is not glowing that is the LED response is off and the voltage is uh, across the voltmeter is showing me a value of 0 0.13 which is almost equal to 0. And for the last combination both A and B will be connected to plus 5 volts. I will be just shorting these two wires and I will be connecting that to plus 5 volts. So for this combination, for this combination LED is turned on you can see the blinking LED in this point. It is blinking to red color as well as blue color and the voltage across these two resistor, I mean this resistor is uh, showing me a reading of, it is just fluctuating. Uh, you can consider the highest value, it is 3.76. So after taking the readings, you have to just turn off so whatever the readings we had got uh, while conducting the experiment, it's already been tabulated in the tabula column. So uh, the LED response for these logical outputs is equal to zero. And when the last combination, that is when both the inputs were one, 
the LED was turned on and the voltmeter was showing me a reading of 3.72. It was uh, fluctuating to a larger extent. I just took the maximum value of that. So, and for all the other combinations of input, the voltmeter was showing me a reading of 0 0.32, 0 0.17, 0 0.17, which is almost closer to zero. So, uh, from the truth table, we can easily tell that the LED response, the voltage response and the logical output are clearly mat matching with each other. So, this is the uh, experiment of realizing an AND gate using the discrete component that is only the diodes as well as the resistor. So the result of this experiment is very very simple. We have constructed the circuit where the AND gate was uh, matching with the logical output, LED response as well as the voltage response according to the observation table. So let me conclude this experiment at this point. In my next session I will be coming with new experiment. Thank you.